this model 1000, I tell you what, the accuracy, everything, the stability, once again, it's just, it's unmatched. Boy, I tell you what, you know, I'm sighting in my rifles every year for deer season and everything mm -hmm. else. I can go through boxes of shells. Yep. You know, I tell you what, sighting in with this, I think would, it would just go so fast. Well, the big thing, Kelly, is, I mean, the time you save is unbelievable. People go in this, when we used to go out to sight in, I mean, we'd be left, we'd be right, high, low. Things are always moving around. Here, it just eliminates that. We tell people the time they save alone is by sighting in or developing loads. That's why I put some paper. So. Now, I notice on this Model 1000, there's a ton of features on this yep. one, a lot more than what we've seen on the 500. Tell me a little bit about what it is that these different features do on this one. What separates this from yep. the last one? Well, the, one of the huge differences, here we have a windage. So we basically just dial in our windage, you know, wherever we want. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing is, is these blocks here, they slide. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the rifle out here. Show that better. The blocks here can move in and out, basically, I mean, for any rifle. And then you just simply lock it in place right here. And the fine-tuned windage, I mean, it's just ultra fine. Okay. We use an Acme thread in here and then this is a T-rail that's made out of UHMW plastic. Now I noticed when I used that a little bit ago it's got such a nice feel to it. It doesn't feel like the dime store stuff that I've shot off from before. I mean it feels like you're exactly. holding a quality piece of material there. And the, th and the reason is, is when you use this plastic, this UHMW, your tolerances can be very very tight up against this aluminum block. So that's how come everything is silky smooth you know, it's super tight. And, but there again, when this is dropped in here, here we have a little thrust bearing. And for our height, for our elevation, okay, everything is just really ultra smooth. Because a lot of people might put a heavier gun on this, you know, so this just allows that elevation to be silky, silky smooth. Now, the bearing in this, that's, that's completely specific to your brand of product, too. You're not yeah. going to find that. Well, I know you won't find it in a bag of dog food. Let's just <laughs> no, put it that no, way. That's, <laughs> that, that's for sure. You know, the other features, like here, you notice that the feet are a lot different here. You can adjust these in and out and up and down. Because some people might use a flat stock in here, and they need to be able to level mm -hmm. that rifle rest out. And in my hand here is one of these feet. And you can adjust these, and you can lower this rock will harden point. And, they, and some shooters will use this if they set into wood or concrete, they don't want the rifle rest to move around at all. And and that's just really a handy, handy feature. And then these are just jammers to where when you lock this in here, then it's set and the rifle rest can't move. Because here, as you can see how far up that goes into that casting, so you can raise the rifle rest up and down by just using the feet. And then you always keep this, your threaded rod here engaged because you always want that in as far as you can go to keep it, to keep it really, really solid. And... Uh, and then basically the features here are the same as the is a 500 where you can slide this in and out, you know, for any for any rifle. But one notices that these rods are square instead of round. And the reason we did that, you see how it's captured underneath here, these square rods, and there there's grooves in there, it's captured there. Mm -hmm. The back here, I mean you have basically no movement here. Right. So when this one here, when that rifle sit in there and stuff, this is the maximum accuracy, you know, that a person can get. And, uh, but I'm going to show you just a, one more thing here with the rifle in there. Now, when we're shooting, like when I'm in a prairie dog town, okay, I can simply position the rifle over here. And this is where I do a lot of shooting from this position here all the way out to like 300 yards. Because in prairie dog towns, you know, you don't always want to be taking this and sliding this everywhere. This here, I mean, you're one over here, you're one over here, you shoot quickly. Long shots, I'm going to use that rear leather silo, because there again, that's maximum accuracy. Because just like the 500, I can adjust this, any pitch, and there again, the elevation is, there again, set wherever I want to. And in my segment of accessories, and shooting tips, I'll be showing our fine-tuned rear height. We have a thing where I can just fine-tune it during my wrap round, just up and down really, you know, very easy, and that's really, really neat. And, uh, well, like I said, this is our model. It has all the bells and whistles. If you are doing a lot of reloading uh, or a lot
lot of sight in. Without question, it's a must-have. Well, it looks like I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I, I stand here and I say that, but I'm just yep. in awe of this machine. It's just incredible. Well, I appreciate that. And, and, and I want to thank you folks again for stopping by at TargetShooting.com. And make sure you check out our other videos. I want to do some shooting tips, you know, our Model 2500 shooting table. And, uh, and thanks again. Now, do you mind if I take a few more shots of this? This is a lot of fun. Okay. Be my guest. Ha <laughs>